Good morning children. Today we shall learn about properties related to multiplication of integers, specifically the associative property and the multiplicative identity. Now let's try to multiply three integers. What is minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by 5 equal to? Here we are multiplying three integers. So first let's multiply the two integers first. In this case we will multiply minus 3 and minus 2 first. So minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 and then we multiply by 5. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 2. Here 3 multiplied by 2 which is 6 and we know minus multiplied by minus becomes plus. So the answer here is plus 6. So this problem gets reduced to plus 6 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 30. Now let's take another group which is 3 multiplied by 5 first. So minus 3 multiplied by 5 and then we multiply by minus 2. Minus 3 multiplied by 5. Here we are multiplying a positive integer by negative integer. So the answer would be a negative integer and the product is 3 multiplied by 5 15 putting the negative sign becomes minus 15 multiplied by minus 2. Again we have two negative numbers so the answer would be a positive number 15 multiplied by 2 30 and the plus sign which is the same so the answer is 30. Now let's take the group of minus 2 and 5 first and multiply. So we get 5 multiplied by minus 2 then we multiply it by minus 3. 5 multiplied by minus 2 we know it would be 10 with a negative sign. So this is equal to minus 10 multiplied by minus 3. Here we have two negative integers so the answer would be a positive integer 3 multiplied by 10 and the answer would be 30. What do we see? Even when we change the grouping the answer is the same which is 30 in all the three cases whether we grouped minus 3 and minus 2 or we grouped minus 2 and 5 or we grouped 5 and minus 3 the product was always 30 only you know this means the associative property of multiplication holds true this says while multiplying integers the product doesn't change even if the grouping is changed now minus 7 multiplied by what number will give you minus 7 or which number multiplied by 5 will give us the product as the number itself which is 5 minus 7 multiplied by 1 will give us the product as minus 7. Also 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5. So what do we see? Multiplying 1 results in the same integer or we can say 1 is the identity element for multiplication as when we multiply any integer by 1 the answer or the product is the number itself. So let us revise what we learned today. First the associative property which says the product doesn't change even if the grouping is changed during multiplication of three or more integers. As we saw minus 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 4 was same as minus 2 multiplied by 3 
multiplied by minus 4 which is also equal to minus 2 multiplied by minus 4 then multiplied by 3 and in all the three cases the answer was same as 24. When we multiply any integer by 1 the product is the integer itself or we can say 1 is the multiplicative identity in case of multiplication of integers. So that was all about properties related to multiplication of integers. Bye bye children.